my name is Mitch, and I'm um, I'm the admin assistant here for the accountable manager and the director of maintenance for Papillon Grand Canyon Helicopters here at um, the south rim of the Grand Canyon. I've been at Papillon for approximately 22 years now in the same position. Part of my job and my position is is hiring and training new mechanics as as they come in. I think one of the biggest benefits is training. A lot of the schools do not carry helicopter training. And so what we do here, we, we're, we will take a, a young a students fresh out of A&P school, because uh, we feel the A&P license is a license for them to learn. And what we do is um, we'll train them on that, on a helicopter that we have. We have five different types of helicopters here. So it's a wide, wide field of training that, that they get. And it's not just training in one specific area. You, you're just not trained in, in engines and you're stuck with engines the rest of your life. But we, tra we train you in that whole airframe, uh, all four sections of that aircraft. And, and you learn it and you learn it good. You get more training in one year than many companies will give you in five years. And so companies that look for maybe three, four or five years experience, they'll, they'll hire our people with one year experience because of the amount of work that they do. Uh, there's, there certainly is. Um, a lot of the AMPs that have been around for years are, are retiring now. Uh, there is a big demand for airframe and power, pan, power plant me mechanics. There's a need, um, if I remember correctly, the need is approximately 30,000 mechanics they're, they're looking for throughout the United States. And it's just not us here uh, um, as helicopter mechanics. It's, it's the whole industry around the world are, are, losing, are losing mechanics. They're using, losing all that experience. So it's a big need. Even the, even, even the, the big airlines, they, they have that need for mechanics. That's the industry right now. It's supply and demand. The, the demand is high for, for mechanics, but the supply is really low right now. The SJVC students, um, they're willing to get up early and get started. Um, and they're willing to move here to no man's land in Northern Arizona. A lot of schools, the students come out and they can't figure out safety wires. <laughs> and I know this might seem small to you, but that's a big issue um, where, where I've noticed the SJVC students, they got that down pretty good. <laughs> where there's a lot that don't. Um, so it, it's like it's more, there's more a little more detail in the way SJVC trains. My advice is, how would I say this? Don't always look at the pay, look at the experience. It's not always the money but it's the reliability of the company. It's the training you get, it's the benefits. Uh, for example, we, we have full benefits for our employees, medical, dental, vision, and who knows what tomorrow will bring. Uh, we're, we're expanding, we keep building, we're expanding, and that's our goal. Take advantage of uh, companies that are, that are growing and grow with them. It will only help you improve your life also.